Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about overview of VLSI physical design flow. What is physical design? Physical design is the process of converting a logical design into a physical implementation that can be fabricated into integrated circuit. In the physical design, there are various steps involved such as floor planning, placement, CTS, routing, and physical verification. So in this video, we will discuss about overview of VLSI physical design flow and what are all those steps required in physical design flow. So import design in which we give all the input files required for physical design flow. In opti design contain SDC files, UPF for power, dev files, liberty file, technological file, dot tf file. Then floor planning will come. Floor planning is a major step in physical design flow. So in this physic in this step we have netlist which describes the design and the various block of the design and the interconnection of the between the different block the netlist is the logical description of the design and floor plan is the physical description of the ASIC design so in floor planning we are mapping the logical design our physical description the physical objective of Floor planning are to minimize the timing and area. So in physical design, floor planning is the main step. In this step, we determine the width and height of the core and die. Determine the location of a standard cell or predefined cell macros. Determine I/O pin placement, creating the padding for chip. So these are all the basic basic things we do in the floor planning. After that, placement will come. Placement is the process of placing standard cell in the design. The tool determines the location of the each standard cell on the die. And tool place this standard cell on the algorithm which is used internally. The placement will be driven by the criteria like timing, congestion and power optimization. Placement also determines the routability of your design. The objective of placement is to optimize the area, timing, power, minimal timing DRC, and minimum cell density and pin density. The placement should be routable. It means your placement should be good in terms of routing. Clock tree synthesis after that. The so clock tree synthesis is the process which makes sure that all the clock signal distributed uniformly to all sequential element in a design. So whatever in this synthesis, the real clock will come. So the real clock will distribute it uniformly to all the flip flop in your design. So it is the process of insertion of buffer and inverter along the clock path of design in order to achieve the minimum skew. Objective of CTS to meet the clock tree design rule constraints such as maximum transition, maximum load capacitance, and maximum fan out. To meet the clock tree target such as minimum skew and minimum insertion delay. So after the clock tree is done, database with properly properly bind clock tree in the design will be get as the output of the CTS. Then we move to the routing stage so routing is the if after it is the process determine the precise path for interconnection precise path for interconnections routing is nothing but connecting the various block in the chip with one one another after ctf we have information of all place cells blockages clock tree buffers and inverter and io pins this information is important for to complete all the connection defined in the netlist. So in routing stage, metal and vias are con used to create the electrical connection in layout defined by logical connection present in netlist. So objective of routing to meet the timing constraint 
no LVS error, no DRC error, and minimize the total wire length. There are many stages in routing process global routing, track assignment, detailed routing, search and repair. Goal of routing is minimum routing area, minimum congestion hotspot, no LVS error or no DRC error, meeting the timing DRCs, minimize the total wire length. After that next step, physical verification and sign off. So after the routing stage, your layout is ready. In this stage, we perform some sign off checks for example, with physical verification check, timing analysis, logical equivalence check. We perform physical verification as such as layout, which is schematic LVS, design rule, DRC, electrical rule check, ERC, and antenna check. So these are the some basic physical verification check we do. Equivalence check will compare the net list between the synthesis tool and the net list generated by PNR tool. So tool logical equivalence will check both the net list. DRC verify the given layout satisfy the design rules provided the fabrication team. DRC checks are nothing but physical check of spacing rule between metal like minimum width rule, wire rules. LVS is a major check in physical verification stage. Layout is compared with the schematic for verifying whether their functionality match or not. If match, then LVS is clean. Finally, we'll do the timing checks also, fixing the timing violation edge, data violation, hold violation. If there are present during the routing, we have to fix those violations also. Then we will go to the final sign off. So in this video, we just take a look on, we'll just overview of physical design flow. So there are various steps including each step such as floor planning. There are so many steps including floor planning, same as placement, CTS and routing. So in this video, we just discuss about the basic definition of what is the floor planning, routing, ETS, placement, it's just the overview of physical design flow. In next video, we will discuss about each step in detail. So thanks for watching. If you like the content, subscribe our YouTube channel for more VLSI content.